everybody, this is Jim Kemp with 705 CNC. Hey, we got a brand new surface grinder in, and I thought it'd be really cool to add an XY, uh, well, I, I guess it's really a ZY uh, encoder system to the grinder. So, uh, so this is based on a Raspberry Pi, and what I thought was really cool was using this gauge up in the corner. So, uh, on a surface grinder, what typically happens is after you make a pass back and forth, you know, you do your grinding, then you have to step over, you know, a, a, a percentage of the wheel. So, you know, this is a one inch wide wheel, so you'd have to move over like 0.9 inches. So, uh, this, this uh, wheel moves at exactly 0.1 inches for each revolution. So, normally you count one, two, three, four, like that. So, but with this system, all you have to do is watch the gauge. And when you go around nine turns, there's your first pass. So now you know to go back and forth again. After you're done, then you just watch the gauge and make a another, another revolution. So to set the uh, step over and the number of steps, I've got a couple little dials here. Uh, I haven't got these working yet. I haven't got these plumbed into the software yet. But uh, basically this tells you how, how wide you want a step over to be and this tells you how many step overs you want and this will calculate okay you're going to grind for you know four and a half inches basically so uh, then this gauge will help you uh, do that so then when you're all done stepping over this gauge also helps you return back right so you just crank 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 until you get both needles back to the top so you know it's it's a cute cool little uh, uh Digital readout, you know, I've simulated the, the classic LED uh, displays. I thought it's kind of cool to have the last digit in tenths. So uh, it just makes it, I think, uh, easier to read. And, uh, but, you know, to each his own. So there's also the possibility to have multiple screens on this thing. So this could be a camera. Uh, you can have an info screen. You know, with a Raspberry Pi, the possibilities are endless. So for right now, uh, this is the main screen, but you know, since it's based on the Raspberry Pi uh, and it's all based on software, you know, the sky's the limit on what this thing could actually do. So uh, uh, mostly <laughs> looking for suggestions on, on how to make this even better. So uh, in the comment section down below, let me know what you think and uh, maybe we'll incorporate some more ideas into this thing. Uh, a couple other things about this system, uh, these are based on uh, uh, five micron encoders. So sometimes, uh, you know, this, this changes every two tenths normally, but every now and again it'll change to the last digit will become an odd number because, you know, the metric to English isn't a quite perfect conversion. So, so the red digit being tenths uh, yeah, so uh, let me bring you around and show you some of the guts of the system. This is the back of the uh, Raspberry Pi display. Uh, this is just something I got off of uh, Amazon. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the standard. And then uh, I 3D printed some brackets. Uh, so nothing fancy. Try to to reuse the existing holes that were in the frame of the grinder. So, and then these are the encoders. Uh, so you can see how mounted the, uh, this is for the Z up and down encoder. And then down below here is the uh, back and forth for the Y axis. So then that all goes down to, I'm kind of embarrassed to show you, but uh, that all goes down to this little board, which is a Teensy. This is running at 600 megahertz. It just blows my mind. So that's that's uh, reading the encoders and converting that into a RS-232 uh, serial stream that then comes up to the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi doesn't have to keep track of the encoder counts. The uh, Teensy does that. So the Teensy just spits out uh, counts and then it's up to the Raspberry Pi to decide how to interpret that you know so there'll be a setting in the raspberry pi ultimately you could change so you know if you're using uh, a different 
step on your encoders you could change some settings somewhere so that's the basic idea so so the board down here I'm going to uh, get a uh, an actual circuit board to get this all cleaned up but that's it in a nutshell okay so here's a close-up of the screen as I'm uh, cranking this thing around so to make one pass you know, I'd crank the wheel down below to get one full revolution. So now I'm ready to go back and forth grinding, make another complete revolution. And then I grind for another pass. And then to return to zero, I reverse the whole thing until the needles get back to the top. So there you go. So now you'd adjust the, uh, the Z height down a little bit something you know and then grind again and then these are the little knobs I was telling you about little, uh, rotary knobs so I actually made these in uh, in CAD because uh, there was really nothing good out on the internet that I could find uh, that was open source so basically I had to make all three of these the gauge and these knobs and I did find something to start for the LEDs uh, but then I modified them quite a bit to get them the way I liked them. So ultimately we'll have a, uh, a USB camera connected to this thing so you could get really close in views, have some kind of info screen, and then this position screen. So that's kind of it in a, in a nutshell.